boarding all wet. If it gets warm in the summer, the old bucket of water over the head business, which I just did. Ah, uh, that's okay, right? Right. So, that being said, I think you can drive fast in hot weather. Right? Right. A busy day. I was doing some wood engineering and metal engineering. Welcome to my plaza. What do you mean? Oh, yes, wood. Wood and electrical machinery, which is this fellow here. That's warm. Hmm. Ooh, 100 pounds. You can't see it yet, huh? This is the case out of um, HMCS Saskatchewan. And there's still writing on it. It says no PCBs, a check by the military or the Canadian Navy, I guess. So this is an azimuth unit. And it works in cooperation with an R390A receiver and a gunnanometer. So I, it works fine. I tested it, tuned it up. I have an R390 over there. So I'm going to connect them together and mount it on a shelf. I just re-engineered this here where that engine room telegraph is. You see there's woody things there. So I put some 4x4 beams on, uh, that's a two by four. There are three, four by four is one, two by six. Press fit it in there into that metal cabinet. I'll remove this to show you. Uh, still recording? I think so. So the support, this hundred pounds here. I'm weird that way. I like things that are really heavy and solid and really well made. Project and project and project. I always project behind this here as well. All these bronze Orlacon cannon mounts and things. I'm gonna move this around here, huh? Hi, Bones! I don't know if I can, I can move around myself, I guess. Oh. This thing is really solid, by the way. Nothing showing. Good. <laughs> How do I think showing? Nothing showing, nothing showing. cigarette out hmm? that's a different approach for having an iPad I guess mm. on the floor this is all solid bronze overnight delivery by Mr. Alec of Greece I have to estimate mm. at least 2,000 pounds of stuff. I'm sure of it. Mr. Alec is a dealer in Greece. He sent me all these bronze, beautiful mounts. All I have to do is polish them up and put them together, have all the pieces. They weigh at least mm, maybe 100, 200 pounds, just the parts, the nuts and bolts and things. Oh, get around to that someday, too. Oh, 
Go take the garbage out. Just clean up. Just clean up and all that stuff. <clears throat> wow. Different approach, different look. So I'm thinking of the alien uh, anti-gravity guy with a power outsourcing the power cells. Alien all chemist, is it? Maybe. gonna be hard to move this around without falling over. Hey, hey, hey. Having rest after a very active day. Dust from the floor still after I vacuumed. That's no good, is it? Oh, wow. I'm all silky wet, sort of. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Oh, well, 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 uh, uh. I'll move this now. Number one. There's a different lighting here. So, get a better look at this fellow. I'm not gonna talk about the internet stuff at all. I am sick of it. And I'm gonna start thinking about deleting Facebook and YouTube. There's really nothing in it for me. The only thing that's good is, and fun is eBay search and watching some videos so I can learn things because I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> I could do that probably without a YouTube channel, right? Or some, I don't have to, I can just delete bit of everything and just uh, watch, have the channel without any content. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, busy, busy, busy. This thing works good. I just had to power it up 115 volts. There's a lot of work just to mount something in there on that top shelf of this. Four by fours added support. You see there's wood in these shelves. I put those in a while ago. And I really wish they'd make something, these shelves out of real metal with that tin. This one too, I had to reinforce it. That's where I have the R390 and other gear. I like to get shelving right up to the ceiling so I can put a lot of goodies there. Maybe that'll happen sometime. Get rid of the tinny stuff. Yeah. <sighs> wow, Dominion dudes. Oh, long day at the office. So I got some eBay items. I mean, Tesla, they have electric motors, old electric motors. Hi, Bones. I guess I'll test them tomorrow when I got more time. This guy, I got to finish working on him. It's one of the eBay motors that arrived today. Huh, I wonder what it says on it. I just opened the boxes. I opened the boxes. We haven't got much time. And they're still recording. Yeah. Hi, Mom. I spread my chops. Yeah, spread your chops. Okay, let's think about it. What does it say on it? Mm. Let's see. 
to that. So what are you? General Electric Utility Motor, half horsepower. Hmm. Cast iron, that's good. <clears throat> Hmm. Let's see. Uh, AC 60 amperes 5. Well, maybe a, a third horse. Uh, no, I can't sense the. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Maybe. Designed to be strong and heavy duty, okay. Hmm. And heavy enough. Fill a small motor. I see them and we played with motors and generators that were eight tons on the warships. We had to uh, get them out below the decks through the hull and cut a hole and I made the bearings to support all that weight. Used big heavy I-beams, welded it all shut, rolled it out and the crane lifted it up off the ship. The original anti-gravity device, eh? Oh, we've got a, uh, somebody in here, a Geico, made his way into this place. So I'm walking carefully so I don't disturb him. And I guess we got a new pet, a little Geico. He like probably likes bugs and things. I don't know what they like, but he's cute. He's a cutie patootie. So what? Lady Godiva. Hi, Lady Godiva here. Nutty is a fruitcake, John. You're not as a fruitcake, John. You're not as a fruitcake, John. You're a fruitcake. You're a fruitcake. We got another motor too. It came in today. He's a heavy little bar. Hmm. Cast. Oh, cast. Oh, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> That's an oldie goldie. I don't see any tags on it, but I guess it's. Uh, I don't know, can't see that. Hmm. Looks well made. I thought there was a tag on it, but I don't know. <clears throat> no tag. It must be on, on the back, maybe. Oh, there is a little tag. I wonder if it's a tag. That's a duty DE shaft. Under dead volts. Ampere is 4.9, almost 5 ampere. Well, that's pretty cool. Quarter horsepower. It's a uh, motor type. Not quite read the rest of the tag, but it'll be fine. Ugh. For a tiny motor, it's pretty heavy. Here we go. I'm kind of fussy. I don't like those cheap aluminum motors. I just toss them in the trash. Well, 
Let's see what else to do. Nothing much. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm always checking the time because I gotta get going and put the alarm on and dry up a bit, I guess. Nothing newsworthy I'm talking about, right? Right. Just another ridiculous, useless, boring, stupid video. So our little Geico friend is somewhere around here, or a little lizard or something, somebody. Still not a step on him. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, right. You're going to fit in that hole? Maybe it will. Nothing a hammer can't fix. <sighs> oh, I thought, man. Oh, I don't think there's any comments, but... I'll get my uh, hair organized and with little bows on it. I'll get as hot as I can dare to get on that stupid YouTube. I got to really do a full blown Carla P. Knesset Rothschild video outside. Give the ravens a treat of my insanity. They love it. Anyway, I'm going to get going here. Thank you.